Hey, Mark Nelson. Have you ever gotten yourself to the point of feeling so low that you almost quit? Man, I want to welcome you out here to the lake again. I just, uh, I didn't quit, by the way. It's, uh, but I had gotten so low that I almost quit my journey. And this would never have happened if I had almost quit. Hey, let me know if you're coming on the live, live, just tell me where you're coming from. Tell me what's going on in your life. If you're coming on the replay, give me a hashtag replay. Glad to see you're all here. Man, we talked about, I told you my origin story, how I started in this journey of uh, affiliate marketing, online marketing, network marketing. But there was a point. See, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. There was a point that I almost quit. Totally didn't believe I could do it. Totally lost faith in myself. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever felt so low that you almost quit? Give me a one if that's almost happened to you. See, but there's something in me, and I, I don't even know what it was, and, and I don't know if it's my sports background or um, what it was, because I always thought I was going to be a successful. Hey, Sharon, how are you doing? Glad to see you here. Have you ever, now she's on here now, and she gave me a one, but have you ever gotten to the point of where you said, no way I'm quitting? Give me a two. See, because there was a point that I was living not even paycheck to paycheck. You know, wasn't making it, didn't know where we were going to turn, didn't know what we were going to uh, do next. And I was extremely fortunate because I had my teaching degree. So I could teach and I know I was helping people. I know I was helping students because that's really what I wanted to do. I just knew there had to be more. There had to be something else and, and not to helping students, but more to helping people because there's people out there that need help, that need help from you. So I think here's why I want to tell you what I had to do. See, I, I had to readjust because I kept hearing this, that it's, you know, the first thing you work on when you're working on a business is you work on yourself. So I started reading positive stories, positive books. I started hanging out with different people, not, you know, necessarily my family, but I started hanging out to, with people online that I knew could help me. And I kept seeing the same thing. You know, everybody is, was as nervous as I was. Everybody was scared. They were just trying to hope for that break, but they just kept on plugging. They kept fine, trying to find their niche to help people. Hey, Ron Deering, how is life with you? Idaho, I bet it's warm out there right now, right? It's summertime, springtime finally happening. So here's the thought process because I really battled some inner demons, and I don't want to say demons because they were just, but, but growing up, I had some people, I lived in kind of a sarcastic family, and we kind of picked on each other, and I was always told I was never going to make it, because I was a dreamer, man. See, I talked about I played college basketball, I did, and I made it, not to the school I wanted to go to, but I made it. But I was always told that no way was I going to make the NBA. No way was I going to do this. No way was I. I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't the right person. I was too slow. I was too what, whatever. And you know, that started working in my mind. I started believing that crap. So I really had to work with it. And very fortunately, I found a, an extremely great coach in Steve Kribda who really helped me through that because I didn't even know it was there. I mean, I'm 65 years old and I'm still listening to these inner voices. So I do things every day that are different. I really do. I wake up in my morning every day. And I don't know if you believe in God, the universe, whatever, but I believe in reading positive things. So I pick up my Bible every morning and read it for a little bit. And then I meditate and I start visualizing where I'm headed. Because it's really, this journey is not about me anymore. This journey is about how many people I can help. See, I know there's people 
that are just like me. I know there are. Hey, Fred, glad you're on here, bud. And you have a story to tell. I know it. I just, you know where I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I just know there's people. I knew I could help people that are just like me. They needed to hear my voice. So I had to get the gumption up. When I thought about quitting, I thought, no way. I, I got to help. I got to help. I can help. And I want you to get that belief too. So I, I actually have some tips for you is one, find your tribe. Find a tribe of people that believe in everything you do. Find mentors that'll help you through. And don't be afraid to call people and say, hey man, I'm struggling. This is what's going on. Because you know what? I, when I reached out to Steve, I tell you what, he found some things back in my past. And, and they were there, I knew it, but we walked through it. So we have things put in place. So if I ever feel that way, I can snap myself out of it right now because I am powerful and you are powerful. So here's what I did. You know, if you're still digging this stuff, what I did is I put a group together for affiliate markers, attraction markers, that as a group, we're gonna help each other grow to hit our dreams. If you'd like to be part of that group, just put a group below. And I'll send you a link. I ask you three questions to get started. I want this to be a great group where we just reach out and help, where people come on and just help each other and give different ideas and boost each other up and support each other. It's just gonna be a fantastic group. So if you wanna be on that group, give me a group below. Again, if you're live, tell me you're live. Tell me where you're coming from. If you're on the replay, do a hashtag replay. Tell me where you're coming from. You all take care. This is Norris Lake in Tennessee. This was our dream. My wife and I live in an RV. You know, our kids thought we were nuts, but it's our little getaway cabin. It, and we wake up here every day, look out this lake. How cool is that, man? And we fought for that. That was our dream. So you all take care. I'm gonna hang this thing up. I had to switch hands while I hit this off button. You peace out, see you tomorrow, bye. Tell me your journey. I want to hear it. Hey Mike, hey Will, you take care. Bye.